In this video, we're going to take a look at a definite integral. Um, we're going to integrate from 0 to pi over 2 of a cosine 2x dx. All right, now this is going to be a typical u substitution. So we're going to start by letting our u be that inside function of our trig function. So u is going to be 2x. I'm going to go ahead and take the derivative of both sides. We'll have a du is equal to a 2dx. All right, from there, I'm going to go ahead and solve all the way down for that dx. I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So I'm going to have a du over 2 is equal to a dx. All right, then we're going to come back up here to the original integral, and we're going to do some substitutions. All right, um, at this point, I'm going to remove those limits of integration because those limits of integration are for x when our equation is in terms of x. So um, I'm going to start replacing. I'm going to have a cosine. I'm going to replace the 2x with a u. So see, now I am no longer writing an equation in terms of x. I've got some u's in here. And then I'm going to replace that dx with a du over a 2. All right, so here I have an equation written in terms of u. Here it is written in terms of x. So that's why I am removing those limits of integration because these limits of integration are limits of integration for x. All right, now I'm going to work the problem out with no limits of integration. I'm going to go ahead and pull that one half out. So I'm going to pull the one half out. I'm going to have then a cosine u du. I'm all in terms of u. All right, I've got the one half out here. I can go ahead and integrate like normal. So I'm going to integrate. I'll have the one half. When I integrate cosine, I'm going to have a sine. All right, at this point, I still have a u, okay? Um, I don't necessarily need to go ahead and put that plus C on there because what I'm going to do in my next steps, I'm going to replace U with my 2X. So then now I'm down to a 1 half times a sine of a 2X. I am now back in terms of X. So now I can add the 0 and then the pi over 2 because I now have an equation in terms of X. So now I can do my substitution there of my values and come up with my numerical answer. I'm going to have a 1 half. We're going to plug in pi over 2. So I'll have a sine of 2 times pi over 2 minus. Now I'm going to plug in the 0. So we'll have a sine of 2 times 0. All right, so crossing out those 2s right there, sine of pi is going to be a 0. So I'm going to have a 1 half times a 0 minus. Sine of 0 is going to be 0. So 0 times 1 half is going to give me an overall limit of 0. So honestly, pretty straightforward for a standard U substitution. All right. I really want to emphasize the fact that this is in terms of x, so these are limits of integration for x. All right. When I rewrite the equation in terms of U, there is a way that you can change these two limits of integration from limits of integration for x to limits of integration for u, but this was a simple enough problem. I didn't feel like we needed to do that. Work the problem in terms of u. Once you plug it back in, you're back in terms of x, then you can reintroduce those limits of integration for x. Definitely, um, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, then please share with your friends so they can benefit too, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.